it's almost sunset and we are at the Judean Desert. Um, the valley that you see in front of us, or maybe just down there, it's the Kidron Valley that started at Jerusalem. It divided Jerusalem and Mount of Olives and it ends to the left view at the Dead Sea, the lowest place on earth. What you see in front of you is the monastery of Sabas. It's called Laura. Laura, it's a place of monks that decided to be together and um, to pray together. But from time to time, they are living in the monastery and there are so many caves around it. And you can find them for days there pray that by themselves like hermits. Sabas. Um, it's, it's a beautiful story and uh, this is I think the fourth uh, monastery of Sabas that we are visiting today and um, on top of their video somewhere there uh, here it is you will see a link for the rest of uh, their monastery's videos but I'm trying not to fall today. Look at that, so steep. Sabas was born in 439 AD, which is the 5th century in Cappadocia, which is today at uh, Turkey. He, he was born for, uh, um, he was born in a very high society Christian family but he raised in a monastery he was uh, raised in a monastery in alexandria um, egypt and he asked to to live like a monk like a hermit the first miracle of sabas was when he went to the bakery and the owner of the bakery actually started to say, oh my gosh, uh, my clothes are in the oven and it's so warm now, we cannot, we cannot save it. And, and uh, Saba said, I will do that. He entered to the oven, took um, the clothes of the baker and survived without any problem. Then in that case, uh, we, got the message that Sabas is different than others. At age 18, he left for the Holy Land. Just a moment. He wanted to follow Aftimius. This is the first video that I took today. Aftimius was the, the second gen, generation of monks in the Judean desert. And uh, uh, although he became his uh, spiritual um, leader, teacher, uh, this is Roman. Roman, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Roman is uh, is the guy today. Is a Russian priest. He lives at uh, um, Mary Magdalene Church, just above Garden of Gethsemane. And. Uh, then he went to Aftimius and he said, I want to be part of your uh, society, part of your um, part of your monastery. But um, Aftimius said, no, 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 you're too young for that. Look at your beard. You have no beard. And look at my beard. And Aftimius said, long, long beard. At that time, people who had beard uh, usually were monks. Uh, at the Roman time, at the 4th, 5th, 6th century, people didn't used to have lo uh, long beards. Uh, beard. Then in that case, uh, they realize, he realized that um, Sabbath has got no experience in it. He sent him to Knoibon uh, um, Monastery, which is uh, kind of a school for... Um, guys that wants to become uh, hermits, uh, monks.
Optimus stayed as a spiritual leader until he died, until Optimus died. Uh, from time to time, Optimus took um, Optimus take, um, uh, took uh, Sabas for 40 days of treatment of treat at uh, one of those solitary places just for uh, um, to meditate, to pray and to fast mostly before Pascha. Easter. You can hear the bells now. That's a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's it can. <laughs> the evening uh, prayer begins now. Sabbath was uh, 44 years old when uh, Aftimius died. And he decided to leave to the desert. And he lived alone. He actually had to uh, get used to the desert to find food and, and the water for, uh, by himself, to be aware of wild animals. He actually uh, been one of the places that uh, we visit early morning, Mont Montar, Azazel. And when he was there for four years, uh, after the fourth year, he, he met an angel, told him to move to here, to a cave. And this is the cave of Sabas. It's actually two stories cave. If you want to climb to the upper part, you need to use a rope or ladder. He died at uh, 532 AD. And 15 years later, he realized that uh, visited that place. He saw that nothing happened to the body of of, uh, of uh, Sabas. He actually stayed the same as the day that he died. And I must tell you, it's like as today. Sadly, we cannot enter uh, to to see it but many years ago uh, I had the opportunity to visit it and I saw uh, the body of uh, Saba and we will actually see Saba and we will uh, talk about it soon the Crusaders when they left Israel because of the Muslims they decided to take the body of, uh, of uh, Saba to Akko and then to Venice and in 1964, when the Pope visited that area, he brought back the body of Sabas to here. The monastery, as you see, as you see like that, it wasn't like that at the time of Sabas. I'm talking about a few caves uh, at that time, but slowly, slowly, as you can see, it was built and destroyed a few times. It it been destroyed, oh wow. Let's do that slowly now. We will talk about the monastery soon. Then it been destroyed at 614 by the Persian and then at 1796 by the Muslims. The Crusaders built it again. And Melisanda, the queen of Jerusalem, the crusader queen of Jerusalem, gave all, donated all of her property to the monastery. Now, rules. One of the strangest rules is that no one will take a shower. Um, Actually, thinking about the minute I reach my house and take a shower. And here, they are not doing it. I must say that the uh, Bedouin, the wandering land, the Norman land, uh, it's actually doing it, doing 
the same thing. From here, you can see beautifully the cave. That, all right, it's stinky. It's stinky because the Kidron Valley here, first of all, as you can see, it's dirty and it's a sewage water. Sadly, yes. You can see it, you can see the dirt, and thank God you cannot smell it. All right, then there's no electricity, no running water, no telephone, no computers, no newspaper, no internet. <coughs> And more than that, no apples. Yeah, this is a, this is a nice story. Um, um, yeah, to bless the apples. Don't worry. You have to uh, bless the apples, and uh, um, and he didn't when he was a child. And he wanted to eat it, but he wasn't allowed, and then he said, I'm not going to eat any more apples. His disciples decided to do the same thing. There are no apples. They are praying from midnight until 6 o'clock. And if you're talking about praying, today there are only 8 months left here. It's COVID time. Before that, we are talking about 15. Monks. At six o'clock they are drinking coffee and eating a piece of bread or cake. And then they are starting to work and to clean. There's no money there. Cannot buy. It's not. You cannot buy uh, uh, anything there. There's a. Uh, oh, it's not easy to climb up. Oh, I cannot breathe. Mm. I can see here, Mary, uh, the mother of God, church. Wow, it's beautiful, isn't it? There's a date tree that he planted, and according to what we believe, he is the bare woman, women that cannot have children, they have to drink the only water from at the spring here and a little bit with a date leaf. Oh gosh, that wasn't easy. Yeah, the chili. The chili. The women cannot go in. That's the women tower. If so, the beginning of the video and you saw the uh, the monastery, that's the left one. And we are reaching the entrance. Oh, 10.30, they will pray again. And then, around now, which is 5, 6 p.m., 1800 hours, they will go to pray and sleep, because at midnight, they will wake them up, and it will be with the knuckles, you will hear the noise of the wood, doom, 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 and then a lot of bells, even if you want to sleep, you won't be able, oh gosh, uh, what's that? Water system? A dam? Oh, water! Let me jump into it. 
<laughs> uh, that's the only water? No, no. No, it's not? Uh, welcome to the entrance. I'm not dead at all. I'm alive! If you like the video and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you want to uh, say something, please do that. I will answer it. And um, at the description, you will find ways to meet me. Uh, I mean, to talk with me. And like professional Instagram and, and Facebook as well. The next part will be inside the uh, monastery. Sadly, uh, I cannot take a video, but I will try to ask for a permit. It's supposed to be closed now, but we do have a priest uh, here as well. Aha, the rest also there? Okay. Then see you. Bye bye.